My name is Colum. I have a brand called Kid Super. The clothes were always the catalyst for me to do anything and everything or what that I wanted. So the clothes have been my connector. So now I'm able to make stop motion. Blah, blah, blah. But the clothes were my entrance because I think for me growing up in New York City it was quite tangible. You know, I could make a t shirt when I was 15, 14, I could sell it, and I was like, wow, someone's actually buying my art or whatever you think, whatever you call it. So that was a cool intro for me into getting into uh, this kind of life of creative endeavors. So I had applied three times, right? And I had gotten rejected, rejected, rejected. And so when I got accepted, it was like, in my head, I was already rejected. So it was like, I was reading it, thinking maybe something was wrong. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty surreal. So everything has kind of led up to this moment to be such a kid super moment. You know, everybody's gonna shoot these uh, fashion films and I'm coming in with dolls and have a sense of humor and everything so for me it's the perfect entrance into Paris Fashion Week. The only issue is now that I'm accepted I have to continuously do it. You know before I had no rules really. Now that you're accepted they expect you to do spring, summer, autumn, winter every year and fashion shows are I think out of all the things I've done the most amount of work and effort that has like a finite deadline you know what I mean? Things have deadlines, but this has like ready, set, go, and you can't redo. There's no editing, and the models walk out, and your whole thing all has to like sink and work up, work out. And I do a lot of the stuff myself. I don't have like this giant uh, fashion house team, so they're stressful. And then once you like first model walks out, you just have to be like, hope this goes good. And even last time, so the last fashion show I did. I wanted paint on the floor so they would walk and track themselves and the venue didn't um, allow for the paint to be on the ground so I had to tarp it with plastic and so I basically invented a slip and slide so these models were walking and slipping and so a couple model or a model fell right and that's your worst nightmare as a fashion designer you know so but for me it was pretty funny because I had literally invented a slip and slide when I came out to like at the end I slid in and was like you know sometimes you slip and fall but you got to get up and that was the whole point of this and people thought it was intentional was kind of running as fast as you can, going towards things fearlessly, trying as hard as you can. I kind of think it's beautiful that some people slept or fell. I watch a uh, fashion show sometimes and you see people falling and I was like, that, that will never happen to me. And here we are. So I think it was a beautiful, it's all about going for it, shooting for it. We're in Paris from Brooklyn. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. Right? And, and the music was like, it was breathing music, so it was a lot of tense moments. So it was <laughs> my mom was like, I was at the end, edge of my seat, and then the last person to walk was supposed to slip and fall. Like actually, so he's slipping and falling and break dancing and da da da. And so everybody was watching was like, was this whole thing like this staged art piece of ten? And like in a way it was, but they weren't supposed to slip and fall. <laughs> so yeah, it was cool. I have this Puma collection coming out, and I was supposed to build a soccer field and do a soccer tournament. And I don't know if you know much about me, but soccer is like my number one thing. I went to play soccer in Brazil when I was 17, 18. And so part of my Puma Club was all about soccer. And during the pandemic, they were like, we can't do any events. We can't do anything with more people. What do you want to do? And I was like, I've always wanted a kid super cartoon, but never had like the time, reason or budget. And they're like, well, we could use some of the budget for this cartoon. And I was like, say less. 
And so I wrote a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a whole cartoon in like four days with eight different episodes and they're like two to five minutes each and I sent it to them and there's a lot of cursing and there's kind of like a lot of New York slang and so I had to edit it a lot like I used the term pause and yeah that was stupid of me but I was like <laughs> someone orders a sandwich and they're like extra meat pause and yeah that's a that had to get deleted Ha, ha, ha.